Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And on a very special episode of Clownfish TV, we're going to talk about Kappa. You know, everybody's talking about. We're going to go down the hole because that's what we do at Clownfish TV. We go down the holes. We go down the holes and find out who's uh, lubing those holes. That's and, right. And uh, we have uncovered a few things. Yeah, this is very interesting and you're probably going to want to share this, but go ahead. So we're going to talk, I'm going to talk briefly about what this video is about. The long and short of it is COPPA, which is the, uh, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, which has all of YouTube freaking out. We've looked into that a little bit, but we've also looked into who has actually pushed this through and who is advocating for this massive change and the person who pushed it through has Hollywood connections. I was gonna say, who could benefit the most from YouTubers being silenced? Hollywood is because they're flipping out because no one's watching their stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna start pulling at those threads a little bit because I don't think anybody's talking about who, who is actually pushing uh, COPPA through and how it got reintroduced and mm -hmm. why it's being changed now. Uh, this person is up for election next year. This person um, is a Democrat and this person is uh, very censorship happy has a history of not only um, uh, love and censorship, but also uh, has a history with Hollywood, including mm -hmm. Disney. Mm -hmm. So we're going to connect some dots here, and uh, you'll possibly see that there might be a connection between the person pushing COPPA through uh, to to basically destroy children's programming. Well, destroy. They're trying to destroy YouTube. Destroy YouTube. This is another attempt, and it could possibly be Hollywood. Why? Because like, oh, I think it is Hollywood. Like Geeky was saying, Hollywood is threatened by YouTube. They are threatened by YouTube. They want to control things, especially with the streaming wars coming. It's not in Hollywood's best interest to have all of this content out there for free mm -hmm. when you want people to pay for your service. So just, just putting that out there. So before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture uh, news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. Uh, we're hoping to hit 100,000 soon. Hopefully we don't get pulled down because of Gappa before then. I don't well, think I it's... don't think our channel's really one. No. This one no. isn't. Our gaming and animation could be a problem, but the main channel's not. It's not for kids. It's clearly not for children, so. We're not for kids, so if you're a kid watching this, turn this shit off and then tell your parents to babysit you better. Yeah, this whole thing, <laughs> What I think angers me most about this whole thing is because this whole thing is coming about because parents don't watch their children. I'm a mom and I'm a teacher. And you know what? My kids aren't allowed to just watch YouTube and sit there and watch whatever they feel like because I don't feel like watching them. And what happens is the kids watch YouTube and then they go, we're going into videos they shouldn't be viewing. And now all of YouTube is going to be punished because parents couldn't do their damn job in the first place. Well, that in Hollywood. Because Hollywood, you know, look at it. They tried the apocalypse and everything else. They've been trying to take YouTube down for a while now because no one's going to them to watch their, you know, the advertisers aren't coming to them. No one's going to them to watch their news or their shows. They're going to YouTube. That's a problem because they're not, they're losing money. Yeah, isn't that curious? Because the biggest ad spend right now with most agencies is video advertising, mm -hmm. is with YouTube. And, um, you know, if you take it away, you take the incentive away to create content that attracts advertisers because they've already, you know, strike one was the adpocalypse mm -hmm. where if it's too edgy, advertisers aren't going to advertise on that content. That was strike one. Strike two is, well, what's left? Oh, a lot of family friendly, kid attractive content. Well, okay, well, let's take that away too and make sure you can't do targeted, mm -hmm. targeted advertisements. So there, there is something I think more insidious behind this than just, we're doing it for the children. They're not doing it for the children. They're, They're not doing it for the, the children. They're using the children as a shield, which is even worse. Yeah, and again, I, I'm with Geeky on this. You know, parents would watch their kids and watch what their kids are watching uh, because YouTube has always been 13 plus, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it is kind of a problem that, that YouTube kind of created because the first thing you know with the apocalypse is like okay we're not doing edgier stuff so now we're going to do kid friendly stuff and yeah some of it got really freaking weird but then they took but, the they, they said the kid friendly stuff's bad now too so yeah. you can't do anything yet these streaming services that have kid friendly channels they're allowed to leave it up even though they have the offer things that are for older people mixed in yeah. that's okay yeah so if if uh your little kid is flipping through uh, hbo and uh, was watching sesame street but now somehow they wound up on game of thrones are they going to sue Is HBO going to be taken down? Is HBO yeah. going to be, you know, you find for this because a kid happened to stumble across Accidentally. Kid, you know, Game of Thrones? Oh, you better believe they won't. There was a content warning before Game of Thrones. It was TVMA. It's your own fault, right? If you, you so did that. So if people like us put up content warnings and put it in our thumbnail, you have to be, you know, 13 plus to watch it. That should fix the problem. But no, they have all these rules here that like, oh, if it's bright colors, it could be bad. If it's, 
you know, in your thumbnail. If you have a cartoon character like our avatars, that could be bad. If you have, you know, if you use the word game or different words, if you have, you, you, looking at toys or junk food or whatever. It could be bad because basically 90% of anything could be possibly construed as for children. Yeah, and that's that's where it gets really weird. Like, okay, if you market not for kids, that's one thing, but where, where I have a problem with COPPA is if it could potentially be attractive to kids, then it's it could potentially be just as bad and lead to a fine. I'm like, well, Deadpool, is attractive to kids. Well, I was gonna you know? say, as a mom and a teacher, the things that you tell kids they can't watch is what they want to watch. Right. Anything you put out there is gonna be attractive to kids. How about parents do their job and take some responsibility for the fact that little Timmy is watching things he shouldn't be watching because you don't want to babysit your kid. Now, oh God, yeah, and this is where it all boils down to. Now, did YouTube violate some laws? Yeah, they, they were found they in violation of That's some laws. That's on them. That is on them, but they're passing the buck on the creators, which is not fair. But you know what's really interesting? is very few people, very few sites are actually talking about who is pushing this through. And I think part of the reason they're hiding who is pushing this through is because it's the Democrats. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is, they keep saying, oh, it's bipartisan. There's like one Republican, it's mostly the Democrats. And one Democrat in particular has uh, a lot of Hollywood connections and is seemingly censorship happy. Uh, also pals around with AOC quite mm -hmm. a bit. They do a lot of stuff together. They're both uh, into the, the Green Deal. So now you can't, have, you can't eat beef and you can't watch TV. You can't watch YouTube while you're eating the hamburger. Yeah, uh, you know, you're gonna... So anyway, um, so I really think that some of these sites that are like, oh, this is gonna be horrible, whatever. They're just kind of blaming the FTC. They're not looking into who actually pushed it through. And as I understand it from watching some other videos that were a little more balanced now, of course, YouTubers are all freaking out, whatever. We're trying we're trying to do our homework and stay as this, balanced as possible. This is why we didn't do a video on this, uh, you know, right out of the gate and you know, knee-jerk reaction to it. But there are some YouTubers out there like, oh my God, YouTube's burning down, whatever. I don't think that's, um, I don't think that is the case. But as I understand it from other videos, this law was basically was pushed through because, you know, frankly, there are a lot of boomers in Congress who didn't really understand what they were pushing through. Well, here's the thing. How come this wasn't, you know, put out there? You know, because they knew it would be stopped. People would call their, their congressmen it, and say, what the flip? Don't vote for this. Here's, here's what's really going on. This wasn't even widely publicized. It just put through, oh, by the way, it's like one of their other, like, you know, late March. night push through. Yeah, you know, how come we haven't heard anything about this much until recently? Because I don't... I, I know why. I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah. Time, so. so anyway, let's let's go down this uh, rabbit hole and see who is actually responsible uh, for this. Oh my God, he uses the M.A. for Massachusetts in his name. Oh, dude, uh, seriously. He's up for election. He's up for election next yeah, year. Yeah, don't vote for this guy. Ed Markey. We're going to talk about Ed Markey. Now, he's also, he's also partners with Josh Hawley. Now, these two, uh, who is a Republican... Don't guy either. Yeah, these two, I just want to put out there, they were both uh, responsible for pushing through the uh, the loot crate investigation mm -hmm. too. So they're pushing really hard in for uh, children's privacy or whatever. I, I really think that there's more to it than that. I'm, it's not a hunch. Be, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but if you want children's privacy, your kids should never go on the internet because there's no way in Hades that they can be, you know, everything can be privatized for kids. There's just no way. Uh, you can do everything right and someone still gets your kid's information. It, it's just, you know, well, you're sort of shutting the internet down. I don't think there's any way to really, truly, you know, have inf information be private. So Senator Markey, uh, Senator Markey from Massachusetts is the original house author of COPPA. He pushed it through in 2019, children, adolescents, every move is monitored online. And even the youngest are bombarded with advertising when they go online to do their Which, homework. I agree, there needs to be limits to that kind of thing. And I don't disagree with him on yeah. that, but he takes it too far. They're, they're, they're creating paranoia. Um, in the 21st century, we need to pass bipartisan, bicameral, cop a 2.0 legislation that puts children's well-being at the top of Congress priority list, yada, yada, yada. I agree with children's well-being on top of the list, but there's lots of other things. How about we stop cutting education and a bunch of other things that you aren't doing, but no, no, we gotta go after uh, YouTube. So this was this was introduced in March. Um, this is Senator Markey. I'm gonna put some links here. You can start looking into who has donated to him recently. He's had a little bit of a uh, controversy because he does pal around with AOC. He was taking money, I guess, from fossil fuel companies, and he got some uh, he got some pushback for that. Uh, Markey campaign lobbyist donations did not violate no fossil fuel money pledge. He pledged that he wasn't going to take money from fossil fuel companies. No, he took the money from fossil and fuel. And he took the money. But they Typical. had to give it back. They had to give it back. So well, the they gave it back. Okay, that's back. funny. So, okay, so let's push that he has to give it back. Let's push. Where else is he getting money from? Well, this is really interesting. 
I want to I want to bring this up first. This was about 10 years ago. Now, Marky has had a falling out with the Walt Disney Company, and we're going to talk about that. But Marky was uh, was real good friends with uh, Disney. Here he is in a movie like premiere. An he does look like his eyebrows in the space. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he looks like he's in a tanning booth. The other thing. So he's hanging out. He's at the premiere for Disney Nature, right? Um, Marky, okay. You know how everybody was like, why the hell is Disney not allowing smoking in movies? Thank uh, Ed Markey, who's well, also responsible for Coppa. Not... Oh, you mean, oh, you mean like on, on screen? On yes. screen. Okay, yeah. So even R-rated, okay, so even The Punisher on Netflix, The Punisher can blow a hole in somebody's face, but he can't smoke a cigar. So yeah, Disney's got this ridiculous policy now because of their friend Ed Markey, former friend, former friend Ed Markey, uh, who who talked them somehow talked them into not allowing anybody even in you know R-rated movies to smoke. Marvel characters can't smoke. Wolverine when he comes uh, to the MCU, if he comes back, he's not going to be smoking so cigars. It's a good thing that your kids won't see smoking. Kids are safe, but they'll see people having their whole faces shot off. So there's right. That. So we can have they'll violence. Give my ideas though, because that's the next thing he'll do. Uh, we can have violence, but we can't have smoking. Uh, we can't have smoking. Here's where the rabbit hole runs deep. We're going to talk about this. So Marky. Uh, Marky's last, got a deep hole. He's got a deep hole. Media giants are big donors to Marky. Now, this is from a couple years ago. Uh, and I'm sure if we dig, we're going to find that he has, he's still taking money from media giants. But he's he's on good terms with uh, Time Warner, AT&T, uh, News Corp, uh, Comcast, Sprint, Viacom, Disney, General Electric, and National Cable and Telecom. Now, look at this. Now, now, what do you notice about those names? A lot of them have streaming services coming out. They do. And they need people to subscribe to their streaming services. And some of them are going to be ad sponsored for free. But if people are going to places like YouTube, how the heck are they supposed to get all kinds of people to, to back their streaming services? Well, you get rid of YouTube. You get rid of YouTube. And this is what we've been talking about before. There is, I think, behind the scenes, this whole thing is way more insidious. And a lot of people have been calling it, this is why they attacked PewDiePie, mm -hmm. they singled him out. This is why the media is relentlessly attacking YouTube. And they 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 you know start at the top with PewDiePie, try to connect him to a bunch of crap. Um, and then they talk about how toxic YouTube is in general. Next thing you know, you know, here comes an adpocalypse. What's this about? Ad dollars. Mm -hmm. It's about ad dollars. And now, now it's like, okay, well, that didn't work. So now where are we going to do? Well, there's an awful lot of kids content on YouTube. So if we um, make sure that they can't they can't advertise to kids anymore. How many of these places are, off, are going to do streaming services and they're pushing kids stuff? We know Disney is and some other places. Here's the thing. It's like they're mad too because, you know, all, their, their ratings are going down. Mm -hmm. People aren't watching it. People are going to YouTube to find out about shows, whether they're worth watching or not. Um, they're not listening to the media who has been in their pocket for years. These Their own personal blogs owned by these companies. It's so funny. I don't the paper in front of me but there's a rabbit hole and a half there of who owns yeah. what media outlets they're all owned by these big companies you're seeing so that's why you're seeing all these articles being out there like oh the, the, those hater man baby misogynist whatever because they're all owned by the companies who own who run the shows that that you know people are being honest about on youtube mm -hmm. so it's the same thing so they of course they want uh youtube shut down of course they want it so that their money isn't there, so the money goes to them and the eyeballs go to them, because they're not. Yeah, because what what how it's gonna be spun is your kids aren't safe on YouTube. Well, it's a good thing that they're safe over here on Disney Plus, they're safe on Netflix. Oh, Disney Plus where they sold their information to the dark web? Where you they sold that? their information to the dark web, yeah. Um, so Marky, speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, he was really good friends with Disney the longest time. I mean, he's even going to their movie premieres and all this this crap. Uh, but then he had a falling out with uh, Bob Iger over the Magic Bands. Mm -hmm. He thought the Magic Bands were invasive, and uh, there was a big deal about that. You know, they're going to spy on you. Disney's spying on you. Uh, yada yada. It needs to be, you know, legislated. So more recently, he's also he's also involved in uh, uh, Amazon. He's he's uh, asking uh, Jeff Bezos for answers on how Amazon smart doorbells retain videos and personal data. So this guy's basically his his platform is, you know, it sounds good on the surface, like oh I'm just trying to protect uh, consumers' privacy, but it also seems like, you know, look Hollywood doesn't like Amazon very much either. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I just want to put that out there. I mean, I agree with the whole idea behind protecting consumer privacy because it is creepy when you're in your house talking about, you know, sneakers, Amazon is sneakers, and then next thing you know, you have an ad pop up for sneakers, and you don't even have Alexa in your house. It is a little bit weird. 
I, I, I mean, do I think they get, that we get spied on? Yeah, and that's a problem. I think I am against that, and I agree with them on that. But they're taking it. They're, they're, they're what they're what they're taking on is a little bit questionable. They're taking on they're, that. This whole YouTube thing is questionable. And I agree with protecting kids and going after channels maybe that are specifically for kids. But the the way they put all these, these things out they're looking for, it's too broad. It literally affects like you can you can find anything for any channel. Literally and find anything. And find something for every channel. This needs to be narrowed. Before it can be enacted, they need to have it narrowed down significantly. Yeah, because this is where this is where it gets tricky. Because basically, the language is so vague, it can be abused at any point in time. Right. That's why they did it. I'm sure, so they can abuse it to whoever the media tells him. I mean, I'm sorry, whoever the government decides is the problem. I mean, what if what if one of these uh, media um, uh, media outlets here, media giants, decides to to you know make a couple phone calls and be like, hey, it's problematic. They're making fun of our characters. Yeah, we don't uh, like this channel because they're we calling don't like out. This channel. They're calling out that it's it's bad. Take them down. Uh, now this is um. Let's see, Versi, uh, Ver Versier says a, a YouTuber who was on um uh, on Nerdist talking about how unevenly their videos were marked as made for kids because it has Pokemon animated. You know, even though it's technically not for kids because it appeals to kids, mm -hmm. and that's the problem with the language of Kappa is like there are a lot of things that appeal to kids uh, wine coolers appeal to kids yeah, doesn't mean you should let them have it right i mean it's where's the parental responsibility in this so you know again we could talk and we'll probably talk about kappa more before january but i i just i really think there's more to it i think there's more to it and i think this is just another you know attempt to chip away at youtube right and i, that's really what I think do. i think this is what the, the whole thing is behind it and I think people need to look into this. I think you need to you call your representatives and ask them, why did you vote for this? Why did you vote to agree to, agree to this? Why? Because this is, this is you know, we're, I'm 100% for protecting children, obviously, yeah. as a mom and a teacher. 100%. And there should be, like there has been for TV and stuff for years, uh, you know, market 13 plus, you know, yeah. and things like that. Or put a section where people, you know, that, that are on, that a gray area can put their stuff in 13 plus only and kids aren't allowed in there. Well, they tried that with YouTube kids and the parents didn't use it. And I guess it was really like YouTube should have screened the content better. Well, it doesn't matter. You know? The point is, I mean, I'm just saying these, if you let your kid in there, it's on the parents at this point, yeah. it's for 13 and up. And these videos are all, we're telling you it's 13 years old and, and, and older. And if you let your child in there, that is on you, not on, not on the creators or YouTube because they had it clearly marked. Yeah. That is your yeah. fault your problem because their terms of service don't don't the terms of service say 13 plus on youtube yes yeah so, so i mean their own terms of service these kids aren't supposed to be on there anyway i would just be like i would just be like um yeah here we go again marky uh this is where he has falling out with disney their kid tracking bracelets um but uh i think that uh you know come next year um maybe 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 a Kennedy should should take. I don't know. Place. I don't know enough about this person to endorse them or whatever. But I'm I not, clearly just saying... know enough about this guy from what I'm seeing to question whether he should be elected because he's taken power too far. And it's not because it's under the screening of it's for the children as they're taking money from people who have a clear vested interest in taking down YouTube. My personal feeling, there's something more insidious going on here. I think that this this think of the children is being used to once again chip away at youtube like we have seen uh, just a, a a targeted attack on youtube and youtubers and the fear mongering and the sensationalism in the media and they're they're like pulling out all the stops to try to take youtube down yeah are because there, it is a threat but are there things on youtube that are bad and should be taken down yes yeah. is that the vast majority of youtube no that is like a tiny percentage of youtube and i think youtube needs to be more proactive in making sure that those those channels you know get stopped but this 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 whole idea that just because you have this broad you know spatter shot of possibly maybe could potentially like kids could watch it which constitutes pretty much 95 percent of what's on on um, youtube or anything else for that matter you need to be more focused it is you have to spe specific very specific things these are the things that will get you flags people have an understanding of what they can get in trouble for um, before they get in trouble for it when they didn't even know yeah. 
two, you need to make sure that, you know, if, if there's a, if you, if their terms of service says 13 plus, then people shouldn't have their kids on there anyway. And it shouldn't, and, and that should be enough to fix the situation. It says 13 plus in the terms of service. These parents are violating terms of service, but letting their kids on there. That's on the parents. Yeah. I'm a parent. If I want to take, let my kid watch an R-rated movie on TV, I'm allowed to make that decision, even though that the TV is protected by saying, here's a warning that it's rated R. You know, same thing should apply that if you put a warning up, the same thing should apply to YouTubers. And people like this who have a really questionable background of where they're getting their money from, people who directly benefit from yeah, YouTube being taken down, it's a bit questionable. It is questionable. I mean, here we got another guy who's, who's pushing an executive director campaign for commercial free children. These people have been trying to get all commercials taken off of TV for years. Any commercials targeted to kids. They've been trying to get uh, TV shows that had toy tie-ins taken off. You know, this whole thing is questionable. And YouTube, again, this just goes to show you when you've got you know, kind of the Wild West and, and sort of that free market, uh, you know, there's going to be pushback. YouTube wasn't that big of a threat 10 years ago. It was like, oh, it's just some stupid internet stuff. But now that YouTube has become primary television for a lot of people, a lot of kids, including our kids grew up watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, they watch YouTube and Which Netflix. Which we monitor like a parent we do. should. We do. Um, but you know, because of that, that absolutely is a threat. And like Geeky said, when you've got all these people starting streaming services and they're they're focusing heavily, it's so weird because they all keep making announcements. Uh, just um, uh, Peacock and Netflix just made announcements recently about all the uh, all the kids content mm -hmm. they were going to have. Why do you think at, right around this time? Right around this time. Coincidental? I don't think so. Disney Plus launches. Oh, we're going to shut down YouTube's kids content. Yes. I'm just putting it out there. Again, it could all be coincidental, but I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think so. And now, do I think it's going to be as big a deal as, as what people are worried about? No, I really honestly don't. I think it's too soon to tell, but I, I, I don't think it's going to be as problematic as people think it's going to be. But I do think they should let you, if you mark your show and your channel as 13 plus and you put a warning up, that should be enough to cover your butt. Because here's the thing, you know, that works for broadcast television. They're allowed to do that. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're not applying the same rule to them, then they should have to take down all their programming that's not for kids. Because otherwise, you know, how can they, how can they? Well, that's the thing. Are they going to be, uh, and I don't understand what the streaming services are, are they going to be beholden to these these internet laws? They or better be if everybody else has to be yeah. because... They're saying website. Well, technically, Netflix and Disney Plus and, and uh, you know, HBO Max, but launches are going to be websites, not broadcast Right, they're not, companies, they're, so. they're, they're, they're download apps for your web TVs. That is a website. It is a web-based, you know, uh, service that would apply to this. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that um, any content on there, if a kid goes into a con into watching something they shouldn't watch, that they should be fined, because how dare they? Yeah, because the parental controls even on Netflix, you have to set that up. You have to mm -hmm. switch your kids over to Netflix Kids. You know, it's not out of the box. I mean, you go on to Netflix, they the kids are using your account on your smart TV. It's wide open. Like everything is right. on there, all the R-rated stuff, everything. Right. So I'm saying, you know, if you if this ap applies to YouTube, it needs to apply to all of the web-based yep. services, including, you know, HBO Max, Disney Plus, etc. So it, it's going to be interesting. I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But I'll tell you why. I think it's going to hurt the bottom line for a lot of uh, marketers and big companies who advertise. Yeah. And I think it's going to get pulled really quick because because they have the money. They're the ones paying these people to be there. They're, let's be honest, they buy off all the politicians. It, if they're losing money, it's gonna get changed really fast. Yeah, because that's what this is all about is ad dollars at the end. Of, I mean, it's they always say think of the children, but it's it's, it's not, not about think of the children. It's not about think of the children. It's it's about advertising money. And uh, you know, I do think that they're going to, and somebody made a, a very correct, um, and I'll link to a couple of videos. Chad Tronic had one video where I think, you know, I like Chad Tronic, but I think he was, I think he was pushing this like, apocalyptic scenario for his channel might be because his stuff does kind of yeah. you know cross the line but then there were um there were some other videos out there i saw where they're more like well it's going to be another obstacle to overcome but it's not going to be catastrophic for a lot of people just if you're making um really kind of gray area questionable kid stuff then yeah you're going to have to be a little smarter like we're definitely it. not a kid's channel we're not a kid's channel fuck no yeah. Um, <laughs> so, just to make yeah. sure that you got that YouTube, we're not a kids channel. But yeah, th I think where people are, are freaking out is that whole if it could potentially, maybe, possibly appeal to kids. Right, and that that and and, and it's such a wide. I mean, literally, you can't use bright colors in your in your thumbnail. Well, what colors are you supposed to use? You know. How many eight year olds have you seen with Deadpool T shirts? Mm -hmm. It's an. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that's just so. 
uh, stupid and so vague and they need to clarify that, but they're keeping it intentionally vague because this is fear mongering. They want, and they want the creators to be afraid too. This is just kind of, and somebody brought this up on um, one of the videos I've watched and it's very, it's very similar if you, you know, back in the olden days, cause you know, we're, we're boomers, uh, back in the we're olden days, boomers, but whatever. when, <laughs> so uh, the record industry was threatened by the internet. Oh yes. I remember. And they had to make some examples of people and they kept threatening. Well, if you download like a, Napster and stuff, Napster, like, yeah. and if you download any music, we're going to find you for a, ca a cajillion dollars. How, uh, what? We just made that up because it's a lot of money. Every song on your computer or on your hard drive, we find we're going to, we're going to find you a million bucks for some bull crap like that. And they made a couple examples of people and the people they made examples of were like grandmas and whatever, just to be like, just so you know, we're always watching you. We're going to get you. We're going to get you. That's what this is. If you upload kids content, you know, we're going to get you. They don't have the manpower to get you, but they want to make a couple examples of people. What's going to end up happening is there's going to be lawsuits because what's going to happen is they're going to get you on a couple people. Other people are going to have the same things on theirs that didn't get through because yeah. they can't monitor everybody. And then these people are going to take them to court. Like you cost me blankety blank blank amount of money because you said I couldn't do this because this, but yet here's a whole list of people that are still doing this. Yeah. And I think it's going to bite them in the ass and it's going to end up in a lot of lawsuits and they're going to have themselves, their hands full with that. So I think they're going to have to, they're going to have to make it a lot more a lot more precise i honestly think it's going to disappear i think it's a threat i think this is this is some sword rattling i don't see because it got look i worked one of the companies i worked for for a number of years we dealt with government regulations i dealt with the, the government doesn't have it as together as you think they do in a lot of cases they're really understaffed and i think the ftc cannot possibly they're going to throw it out there because they, they want you to be afraid but they cannot police billions of minutes of youtube every day there's just no way hmm. there's no way so youtube's even like oh we're gonna put on the creators we're not even gonna youtube's like i don't even know how serious youtube is taking this they're just like yeah, whatever it's up to you to mark your stuff okay next yeah but youtube should, should have they, they did throw it. creators to the wall so basically if they you're did. in massachusetts and you think this is ridiculous and your kids are going to lose all their shows they watch and everything else um you might want to you know call and uh, call him up call up marky and tell him uh no yeah uh that's m-a-r K E Y Center Marky original. And you might want to call Holly too. Yeah, call him too. So just so you know, uh, just so you know, just FYI. Again, uh, we're just we're just kind of you know putting the information out there. Other people might want to do some digging on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they can find some other connections. But um, just a very very interesting mm -hmm. interesting thing going on with uh, Kappa right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. We'll probably talk more about this before January. Oh, I'm uh, sure. I'm sure we will. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.